Hello and welcome my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my Pisces and look at this, you're not last and you're not least. I'm bringing you in in the beginning of this week so that you can see your video because I always feel bad that we're the last at the end of the row and uh, but that's okay. Today I decided to stir up the pot and you're going to see this sooner. Now if you want to check out my Aries, my Taurus and my Gemini videos you'll see orbs flying around me. Um, they've been very active this week. Um, I uh, This is the week that I lost my late husband uh, 13 years ago and uh, actually today's the 17th uh, I'm doing this video and this is the day the angels came to get him so he has been leaving messages to a, uh, a lovely reader out here uh, Marky Mark did a mediumship for me and he stepped forward and he actually told him who he was in his name and Mark said he never hears anybody give their names and he was just over the moon to get this reading from him to get this information so it could be him but there's a lot of tiny little orbs and I invite spirits in my room all the time it is my healing room um, and they often knock on my closet door um, <clears throat> during healing sessions to let me know that I, my hands are in the right place and they guide my move and everything I do with Reiki is brought in from higher self and divine uh, energy and that's what it's about so if you ever feel you want to share my beautiful room here with me I, I do a lot of these virtually and I bring you in telepathically so on and I'm very vocal I tell you where my hands are what I see I'm an empath so their pain your pain jumps on me so I know where to go so just if you decide you want to have a healing session with me my services are posted on my website there now um, if you see any orbs here, welcome them in. I welcome into my room. They guide my cards and I ask for them to show. Today seems to be a little quieter today. That's okay. This is a general reading. Not every single card Pisces will resonate and you know that. Um, so take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the deep blue sea. Let's see my fellow Pisces, what my, my beautiful mermaids and mermen and sea sponges. What do we need to see about this coming so coming in with our download message we have been given the what you nurture will grow card and we need to concentrate on something this week what it is we want to see come to fruition what are we working on I know a lot of Pisces are working on their jobs their careers their passion that way they're wanting to see more increase in money you've heard me say this a million times first comes money then comes love with Pisces and that's just the way we tick we never have trouble finding love in our life it just seems to gravitate and come to us and we're very blessed in that department but we always w struggle and we always want to see uh, success and money and 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 you know comfortable being comfortable we don't have to be billionaires but we we dream big and we we think we we think of big things in our lives that can come in and often they do so remember Pisces stay positive what you think you become you attract this says what you nurture will grow so whatever that is if you're nurturing a relationship it's going to get stronger if you're nurturing your job your profession or your business it's going to show some rewards and some improvement okay you're going to see the rewards for your hard work and efforts as long as you stay focused and you continue working on those things you know the universe doesn't just drop things in our lap as much as we would love it I've always been called a very lucky person uh, people have said well you know Brenda you're very lucky you always land on your feet everything you make everything look easy well it's because can't never tried and I believe nothing ventured nothing gained and I believe that if I try to do something I can do it I might not be the best at it but I gave it an effort and I do come out ahead for that reason so stay grounded and keep moving forward and applying your energy stay focused on that goal whatever that goal is you have Pisces this week stay focused on it because you will see the attention that you're the tension that you're giving this is going to generate better luck towards you in that situation okay let's see what we have here with our first card well we've got the lobster and the lobster says financial pinch so Pisces you may be feeling that you uh, uh, that you don't have enough money or that money might be tight this month uh, you might have had some unexpected expenses go out uh, you might be paying off some debt whatever the case is Pisces you're going to be careful about your money this at this particular time and maybe especially this week uh, moving towards the end of the month you're thinking of responsibilities you know financial responsibilities that you may have to meet and you will I really believe you will if you're careful with your money you're not going out there and spending emotionally or buying things uh, that you really don't need uh, because we do we live in that beautiful dreamy beautiful extravagant world in our head and we often see something I mean I've I've been nicknamed the uh, 
the magpie because magpies like anything that glitter and gold and we have to remember that we have to watch ourselves so curb the spending just a little bit this week my beautiful Pisces be aware of your financial situation and status and um, you know if, as long as you do that you're going to get through this this time right now and you'll be okay now coming in you have the eight of pentacles you have the three of pentacles and you have the seven of pentacles this can be past present future first beginning middle or end of the week so you know, I do think that you're planting your seeds to do something here. You are working on something here. And you're waiting to hear how it's going to be received and how they're going to uh, react to something. You might have put a resume out, a proposal, an idea. You might have called somebody that you want to collaborate with on a business level. Uh, whatever you're planting right now, you know, what you nurture is going to grow, my beautiful Pisces. So keep that in mind. This card is about that too. It's also the card of needless worry. If you've done something and you're waiting to hear and you, want, and you start presuming and getting up in your head that's what you do Pisces you are the moon card and you can del dilute you get lost in that delusion so don't allow yourself to do that know that you've done everything right uh, with the seven of Pentacles and you've done all that you can do now let go and let God because this card says don't worry you don't have to worry things are going to work out now working hard on your goals here the eight of Pentacles is that card that says you could be some of you could be taking a course or some sort of form of study that involves an apprenticeship where you're going to be doing theory and practical you're wanting to perfect that and you know when we love what we do getting paid my beautiful Pisces is a bonus so it's important that you pick the profession that you love and you will be able to nurture it you will be able to apply your energy into it and that's when you're going to see the rewards come in so some of you could be uh, anticipating taking a new form of study uh, collaborating with like minds to grow your business uh, or you know your job and your career climbing that ladder of success um, they're telling me you may be thrown up into a new tax bracket which means you're going to be making more money there's going to be money coming in where you're beware of that you're going to have to pay a little bit more tax this year for the money you're making which is a good thing but beware of that okay um i think you're trying to perfect uh your your gift your craft your job your career and you're staying focused on that and and continue doing that because consistency is the secret my beautiful pisces don't give up don't lose your lack and luster don't you lose your interest keep doing that and what you nurture is going to grow three of pentacles says yes you have that ability to get up you're a very good speaker and a very good teacher my pisces so get up on your soapbox your podium your platform your stage whatever the case is to teach preach and convey information to the masses or people that you're working with you could be working with a new team of people uh, around you that are all in the same boat and they want to work together and unity okay strength is going to build here because you're all going for the same goal and you're working for the same thing so don't be afraid to get up there and to be able to convey information to others and also to feed off of them because we are the sea sponge and what we we need to learn from others as well and I think this is joining a team getting together with a team or creating your own team my beautiful Pisces is going to bring you to your set to your success here Coming in next, we've got the gong, an exciting event. So something's coming in. It's almost like, boom, we've got an announcement. We're going to hear about something. It's going to make us happy. Uh, you know, this is something maybe new coming in, or maybe you've been waiting for something here with that eight of, or seven of pentacles, and you're going to hear about it. So this is a really good, exciting event. Coming in in the center position, you've got the star, that's who you are, you've got the king of swords, and you've got that six of wands, victory after hard work and struggle. So Pisces, yes, as I had said with the three of pentacles, you know, teamwork is dream work, collaborating with others and like minds and working together feeding off of each other um this is the star is you okay dream big pisces because that's what you do you are the major dreamers and daydreamers and you just don't go small you dream for big things and and i've been able to manifest so much in my life uh it's unbelievable when i look back with hindsight where i live you know what i've done with my life my careers uh, you know well I had one career because I was self-employed but uh, you know I've been able to manifest what I want in my life because I believed it was attainable and I could get it and it happens so dream big my beautiful Pisces uh, you know wish upon that star don't be afraid to do that this is getting out there on your platform shining and walking in your light uh, letting the powers that be know who what you who you are and what you're made of and what capabilities you have to offer to the universe and the powers that be so this is beautiful dream big because it's you're going to see things come into light and into fruition for you the king of swords shows up you could be getting some wise uh, advice legal advice from somebody it could be military or um, you know something like that as well uh, but I do think that you're going to be receiving some 
a wise advice from someone here. Again, it could be a lawyer, an advocate, uh, it can be a notary. Whatever the case is, listen to them, okay? They, they can guide you through a process that you need to have accuracy with, and that means take down the information, be careful of it, okay? Make sure you keep it in, in you know, logged down so you can relate to it. But I like this King of Swords. He's, he stands in his integrity. He t he's a straight shooter, and I think you're standing in your truth and integrity, and you're tapping into that more every day, Pisces. Six of Wands, yeah. Victory after hard work and struggle. Whatever you've applied, whatever you've you, you applied your effort in to nurture, you're going to see growth, success, and victory. So there could have been something that you were working on. Maybe some of you have, re um, have received um, or are going to receive a diploma in something, a degree, a master's. Maybe you went back to school to get something. That's a great achievement. Um, you could, you know, it's almost like you're going to get public recognition. If you're working... Um, you know, if you're working out here virtually and you're dealing with the masses or, you know, globally with people, you're going to find that I think your business is going to escalate. You're going to be generating more traffic to to your business, to your website, to whatever you're working on. Um, I do think that you're getting public recognition more and more every day, Pisces. And that's because you're nurturing something. You want to see something grow. You're letting them know what you're made of here, Pisces. Okay, coming in next, we have the firecracker. Excitement. Wow, we got an exciting event. We got excitement here, and we're seeing success coming into us. Uh, this is an excellent uh, card saying that get ready to hear about some exciting event or something exciting in your life, whether it's a relationship, your job, your career, an event, whatever the case is. Coming in in our final row could be future energy or the end of the week. We have the Seven of Cups, but we have that Nine of Swords too and the Queen of Cups. So let's jump right into this negative one. Well, the Nine of Swords says you could be losing, losing sleep about a situation because you're getting up in your head and you're worrying about it. Pisces worry never, uh, never helped any situation. It, it's just a, a waste of useless energy. Um, but we all fall prey to it. And this is saying that you need to let that go. Leave your worries uh, you know, on the chair at night. Ask spirit to take them away. This card says don't get up in your head and start presuming and assuming things are not going to work out in your favor. Okay, Stay positive. The Queen of Cups says you're going to be nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, doing something for you because the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio are innately, it's in their DNA to want to heal the whole world and everybody around them. But you can't do that at all times, Pisces, for all people. And sometimes you might be stretching yourself a little too thin. So, my beautiful Pisces, take time for you, okay? Do what's good for you. Nurture you. Uh, whatever that is, you're tapping into it. You're, you know, do more meditative work if you need to, uh, to, to put you in that beautiful zone where you feel more at peace. Um, also, you could be just making an appointment for, you know, getting your nails done or a new haircut or taking yourself for a walk or planning a little mini vacation. Whatever the case is, Pisces, you're going to be doing something that is going to be beneficial for you and you need to do that. Okay, think about you, Pisces. You can't go out there and do what you do without being 100% running on all energy levels. The Seven of Cups says, hmm, meeny, meeny, miny, mo. What should I choose here? Uh, you know, this is a card of making choices. I always say, think long and hard about what's going to benefit you to your greater good. You could be making some changes when you do make this choice, but that's okay. It's going to be for the better right? This is about being very conscientious about what's important in your life, how it's going to benefit you, and maybe even those around you that you care for, uh, whether it's in business or on a personal level. Don't be tempted to everything that glitters isn't gold. Don't take the first offer till you know exactly what you're reading and maybe getting some counsel here from somebody legal to guide you through this a process. Um, if you're making a decision here and a choice, you may have to sign something legal for some of you. Make sure you know what you're reading, okay? Get that counsel to read between the lines um, because, as I say, once the ink hits the paper, consumer beware, it's a done deal. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, I have shuffled these, but I'll shuffle them again a few times to see what we have here for additional information. Um, Spirit, what do they need to see, know, and expect here? Pisces, my beautiful fellow Pisces. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with this reading. It's uh, it's a pretty good reading. Let's see what we have here. Coming in, <coughs> excuse me, coming in with our Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what we have. What do we got? We have the Empress. Yes, working towards our goals, wanting to have things work out in our favor. Again, on the Eight of Pentacles, this is working at, you know, at work, on your profession, on your career, on, on a new project, anything like that coming into you. 
you know, this nurturing element with the with the Empress, this is all about what she nurtures, she sees grow. You could be, um, you know, there could be the announcement of a child coming into the family, nurturing your family, your children, anything like that. But you could be nurturing anything, a business, a pro, a, you know, a, a goal, a project, anything like that. And what you nurture, you're going to see grow. And it's amazing because that is our download message as well here this week, right? So it's so imperative that we pay attention to that. And you have that ability now. If you are applying your energy into something, you're going to see it flourish. But also this is a card of she's the ultimate mother. And there could be the announcement of a child coming into the family. <clears throat> okay, coming in next with your three of pentacles, we have the queen of rods. Okay, standing our ground, going for what we want, um, being determined, uh, standing, you know, knowing that we're on the right path. I mean, you've heard me say this, Queen of Wands, she flips the bird at anybody who doubts her. And she says, hey, all those doubters, watch me. There will always be those that want to put their two cents worth in and their, and, and their opinions. But Pisces, this is where you've learned from the past that this is your journey, your personal journey, and you're going to go on it, come what may. So don't allow others to determine your happiness or the direction you're going in with their personal opinions, okay? Stand your ground. Coming in with the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there could be new love coming in for some of you. You might have sent out uh, uh, some, <clears throat> some energy out there to attract somebody towards you. This is the card of partnership and maybe meeting somebody new that could be coming in your direction if you're planning on that and you're wanting to meet somebody new you might have done that maybe you put yourself out on a dating site or you know maybe you planted a seed in a friend's ear saying hey i'm interested in whoever you know and they might be able to guide you towards that direction too but this is a card of feeling love 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 beautiful Coming in with the star card, you've got the nine of pentacles. Yeah, walking in your garden of abundance, keeping your eyes open to different things, being open to trying new things, uh, tweaking and changing things that maybe on your resume or on your website or in your business is going to help you move forward here. Uh, dreaming big. And you know what? The nine of pentacles says get ready to receive that. Keep your eyes open for things that are different, though. Coming in with the King of Swords, you've got the Fool. Don't You're nobody's fool, Pisces. This is all about, you know, before you jump off that cliff, check your parachute. But it means that you're going to cross your T's, dot your I's, and be prepared to go towards something new. Remember when I said if you're signing any documents here with this King of, of Swords, to be conscientious and read between the lines so that you know what you're doing. This is a card of being prepared, going after your goals. The universe says you're ready to go after them now. You're, this is the year, as I have said to you, and I say this to you every week, Pisces is the big, is the sign that will see the most change. Coming in with the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups. Uh, beautiful card again. Um, this is partnership, meeting with somebody, getting together with somebody new, whether it's in love or in business. Uh, I think that, you know, you're going to find that things are going to work out for you. This is such a big move for you because there's love here in two situations, but also this can be somebody new coming in to share your life with you, or if you're wanting love, they're going to come in uh, regardless. But it, it comes in with success here, and you're going to be very happy with this this uh, partnering up with somebody, whether in business or love. Coming in with our Seven of Cups, you might be getting up in your head with the Five of Swords, thinking that I don't know what to do here. I can't make a choice or a decision. <clears throat> now, I have to tell you, <laughs> I'm very guilty of that. Um, I wait to the last minute to say, okay, I'm going to go. I hate to commit myself because uh, Pisces innately love to be on their own. They, they, they play well. They, you know, they, even if they go to parties, they find it chaotic and noisy and they kind of sit back in the shadows. They don't want to jump in the middle and be uh you know be the center of attraction so pick your battles wisely okay this is a no-win situation that can happen with some of you pisces trying to make that decision but you will make the decision but make the decision to pick your battles wisely too don't get caught up in other people's drama because when we go into battle mode we know there's risks and there's consequences and we might win the, win the war but we might lose the friendship because of it or as a theoretical example coming in with the nine of swords i'm not surprised you have the five of cups thinking about the past um you know maybe regretting things feeling grief or remorse over something here and you're allowing that to take over your headspace this card says it's done it's history we can only reminisce uh, about it once in a while but we can't dote on it because it'll grow on us that energy this is about maintaining this attitude of being positive and realizing that the universe is sending us this beautiful message that we're going to be able to move forward and find our cups filling with abundance. Coming in with the Queen of Cups, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have, again, the seven, and we started off with that, the seven of cups, the seven of cups. So there's going to be some major changes, decisions, and choices, um, Pisces, that you're going to be making here. And uh, think long and hard about what's important to you. But, uh, you know, I think you're making the right decisions. You've got, you know, you've got some great cards here coming in, Pisces. Victory after hard work and struggle. There's going to be a feeling of all over well-being and love. Being able to know that something exciting is happening to you at this time. And it's all because you're nurturing something. You're staying focused on a goal here. Uh, whatever that goal is, Pisces, keep doing it. Well, my beautiful, beautiful mermaids and mermen and sea sponges of the sea, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. See you soon.